New South Wales police are seeking extraordinary powers ahead of that planned pro-Palestinian rally on Sunday in Sydney in a bid to avoid a repeat of the scenes at the Opera House. The powers have not been used since the 2005 Cronulla riots. Joining me now live is Nasser Mashni, president of Australia Palestine Advocacy Network. Nasser, thank you for joining us. So what's your reaction to the response by New South Wales police? Oh, thanks for having me, Danica. I, I, I'm very disappointed. I, your previous guest, Michelle, the conflation that has occurred now that Australians of Palestinian ancestry, Australians who want to show support for Palestine, have somehow all been lumped in with 10 or 15 people who uh, absolutely unacceptably use some anti-Semitic slurs, that anyone that attends those rallies is a militant or supports the actions of the past week. It's abhorrent that, um, that Palestinians and the supporters can't come out and call for ceasefire, can't call out and mourn their death, can't call out and show support to the Palestinians that are being killed at a rate unbelievable. In, Danica, in, in Gaza today, there are 50,000 pregnant women, 5,500 of whom are going to give birth in the next four weeks. The Israeli Defence Forces cut off food, electricity, medicine, gas, all supplies to the world's largest prison camp. If Palestinians and Australians who support Palestine can't come out and express a concern about that without being called or vilified to, the, to being supporters of violence, it's just outrageous. That's not the Australia we know. What about the Jewish people, though, who uh, have been told or haven't been able to rather go out and express solidarity because the rallies have simply been deemed so unsafe? I've been on, your, on Sky previously and have condemned absolutely the police minister in New South Wales for uh, denying the right for uh, Jewish Australians to go out and see the, the Opera House being lit up. I oppose the idea of the Opera House being lit up, but Australians of Jewish ancestry and those supporting those people should have been allowed to go out. It's absolutely wrong. But to demonise an entire population who want to support Palestinians and Palestinian rights as being supporters of violence it's just outrageous. The reality today is that the Palestinians in Gaza are facing an imminent genocide. The defence minister called us human animals and said there'd be no restraint on the army when they go into Gaza on camera. One can only wonder what he says behind closed doors. When the finance minister of Israel says Palestinians have three options. Number one, to leave. Number two, to stay as non-voting residents with no rights or number three, die. These are open calls for a genocide. It's past time for the world, and in particular Australia, to call out these genocidal words. We're gonna be here in a week or two weeks, Seneca, and talking about 10, 15, 20, maybe 50,000 people dead, and another ethnic cleansing for the Palestinians. We've gotta speak up. Palestinians are human too. We have hopes and dreams, and surely, surely we should be afforded some justice, some rights. Palestine was ethnically cleansed 75 years ago. The world is increasingly charging Israel with the crime of apartheid. We need to apply international law, Denica. All lives matter. I grieve for Jewish loss of life, but I hope that I can grieve for Palestinian loss of life too. All babies are precious, Christian, Muslim, and Jew. Together, we should be able to mourn all of them together and hope that we can have a better world where they can all live together in peace. But this sort of vilification and ostracization and uh, uh, marginalization has got to stop. I had a report today from one of our community members in Sydney. Her kids, she's got two um, kids in primary school, they were told off for being Palestinian. I mean... But can know, I just interrupt you there? Isn't Hamas the problem here? So, Jenica, the problem is that Israel has a Palestine problem. Hamas is 20-something years old. The state of Israel has been denying Palestinians their right to self-determination for 75 years. It was doing it for 50 years before Hamas came into power. They'll do it after, and if they destroy Hamas, they'll continue to do it to Palestinians. Israel does not want any Palestinians. It wants maximum Palestinian geography with as little Palestinian demography as possible. But, that's but NASA, NASA, there are no Jews in Gaza, but there are Arabs in Israel with full rights. So how can you be they calling this rights, e ethnic cleansing? Yeshdin and Bethsalem, 
Israel's two foremost human rights organizations have both released reports in the past year categorizing Israel as an apartheid regime and detailing all the laws that make Palestinians or Arab Israelis, if you want to call them, uh, second and third class citizens. There are no equal rights for Palestinians in Israel, Dedeka. It's an apartheid state. But again, I, I'll ask you this again, though. Isn't Hamas the overall problem here? You know, the overall problem is the denial of self-determination and justice for the Palestinian people. Hamas has only been around since 1987, Ardenica. The problem is Israel denying Palestinian rights. Can you understand, though, NASA, the concern for Australian Jews living here right now? They witnessed some horrific scenes outside of the Opera House, and they're worried that they're going to see a repeat. We've seen uh, an arrest made in Sydney already. We've seen uh, anti-Jewish rhetoric in Melbourne and in other parts of the country. So can you understand the reaction from authorities and New South Wales police? I can understand their concern, and I'll say it again to make it absolutely clear. There is no space, no space in Australia for racism of any sort, anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, homophobia, etc. There is no space. And certainly the Palestinian movement for liberation, for self-determination is an anti-racist, anti-colonial movement, and we will not accept it or will not condone it. And I absolutely, absolutely, as a person who's been victimised and been a victim of many racist campaigns, um, the the any uh, uh, racism, and I understand completely uh, what my Jewish brothers and sisters, who are also fellow Australians, what they're going through. But don't minimise what our suffering either. This is one of the challenges: is that we're exceptionalising, exceptionalising Jewish and Israeli suffering. Palestinians are suffering too, Danica. We're suffering you, as well. Four hundred and fifty-seven children, do, Danica, have died in three days in Palestine. Four hundred and forty. So do, do you view Hamas as a terrorist organisation? Benica, Palestine is under occupation. We have been suffering for 75 years. We've got a defence minister who calls us human animals. We've got a minister in the Knesset, uh, a member of the Knesset, he's not a minister, who said that Israel should unleash a Jericho on Gaza. Jericho Israel is Hebrew, code word for a nuclear bomb. There's 50,000 pregnant women that, and 5,000 are going to give birth in the next month. There's no gas, no electricity. The hospitals are running out of power. That's what we need to be talking about. I'm asking for a ceasefire for us, for the international community to come in and apply international law. Palestine is a non-member state of the UN. The first thing they did at the UN was accede to the Rome Statute and the International Criminal Court. And they said, come and investigate us. If we're guilty, charge us uh, and take us to jail. But, but, but Australia Australia views Hamas as a terrorist organisation. This is just, just getting back to this core here, NASA. So how can you not come out and condemn them? I condemn all violence, Danica, all violence. But the actions of, the, of, of anyone that kills any innocent, whether they're at uh, a rave, uh, a music festival, excuse me, or they're sitting at home peacefully and an Israeli pilot drops a one-ton bomb. All death is terrible, Danica. Now, you, you, the, the deaths, whoever might do it, I mean, the people that are left behind to suffer don't have different suffering, whether that bullet was shot by a masked gunman or whether the bomb was dropped by an aeroplane bomb. And I can't, I fail to understand why there isn't an equivalence. Can you not see a, that... Hamas, Hamas in its charter calls for the extermination, though, of all Jews. No, so why no, won't no, you come on and condemn them? Look, Denica, I'm an Australian. I'm an Australian because my father's house was bulldozed, my grandmother was killed, and he was forced out of his ancestral land at the end of a bayonet 75 years ago. That's how I ended up here. My father came as a stateless refugee because Israel was created on the ethnic cleansing of Palestine. Why won't anyone condemn that? Why doesn't anyone condemn a defence minister that calls two and a half million people human animals on camera, verified, Denica. That's verified. Have you asked Miss Searle to condemn the Israeli defence minister for calling two and a half million people human animals? But, but what about the Jews forced out of their land in Israel for what's been thousands of years? No, nobody, I didn't force them out, Denica. Palestinians well, not, not have... Not you, but I mean, it's a fact. It's a fact, Nasser. Denica, 
Palestinians don't deny Jewish connection to the land. We don't deny Jewish connection. We just don't say it's exclusive. And I don't accept, I don't accept that David Southwick, who's the uh, Liberal member for Caulfield, that his right to Jerusalem is greater than mine. I, won't, I, don't, I don't deny his connection to the land, Danica. I just don't accept that it's greater than mine. I've got six generations of gravestones in Jerusalem of my father's ancestors and mine. My father is buried here. So then why won't you come out and condemn Hamas then? If you've got this lineage, why won't you come out and condemn a terrorist organisation? Why won't you equivocate and say that Palestinian lives matter? Why won't you say about 447 Palestinian children that are dead so far in three days matter? But Israel has offered Israel has offered land to Palestinians so many times and it's been rejected. No, that hasn't been that's not true, Daniel. Five thousand women that are about to give birth in hospitals with no power. There's over a thousand babies in maternity wards today, a hundred of them are in incubators that don't have power. Why don't Palestinian lives matter, Danica? But Nasser, the point is, is that Hamas is a terrorist organisation and you've come on this show today and you're not prepared to condemn them. You, you now, you're talking about this from both sides. You're talking about this from both sides. But will you condemn Hamas? Is, is Hamas a terrorist organisation in your view? Will you condemn Israel's 16-year occupation, uh, a siege on Gaza? Till, but can't until you accept weekend, Hamas's responsibility leading this situation? Danica, there were 250 Palestinians killed since the 1st of January until this weekend. You'd never asked me to come on your show the whole the whole year. For 10 months of this year, we've issued a press release once a month. You've never asked me to come on this but, show. But but hasn't this Hamas situation right now highlighted it now? It's brought this to the forefront, whereas I 10 did. months ago it probably wasn't at the forefront. I've highlighted it because you care more about Israeli deaths than you do Palestinians. I think what I mean, the case is here, Nasser, is the con condemnation of Hamas. If Why will you not Sky call them News out? About, if Sky News cared about Palestinian deaths, we would have been on this show, on this program, days and weeks and months before. For 75 years, Palestinian lives have not mattered. Why won't you condemn the atrocities perpetuated on the Palestinians? I explained to you the situation where I am here, an Australian, because my father was ethnically cleansed. Do you condemn that? Have you got a concern about the uh, 50,000 pregnant women, the 5,000 that are about to give birth, the 447 Palestinian children that have been killed so far? Nassau, Why won't you condemn that? Is, can't you accept Hamas's responsibility leading up to this? That's that's all I'm asking you. Can, can Danica, you accept that? Will, will you condemn the terrorist organisation? of October and said, effective today, this is the problem. I told you that... Israel has got a Palestine problem. Israel was doing that, this, what they're doing today to us before Hamas. When and if they end Hamas, they will continue to do this to Palestinians. Why don't we matter, Danica? Why don't we matter? I, would you be okay if our defence minister, if Richard Miles said that the Aboriginals are human animals? Would you care if he said that? NASA, again, I'm asking that? you... I'm talking Danica, about I'm a terrorist organisation here. You are you going to come out and are you going to condemn no the terrorist organisation? It's fair, no, but it's a simple no question, point. NASA. Did you ask Ms. Searle, at no point did you ask Ms. Searle if she was OK with the past 16 years of siege on Gaza. She wanted to open up a humanitarian corridor. She's suddenly concerned about the residents of Gaza. For 16 years, they've been locked up in an air, land and sea blockade. She's never cared about them. The Israeli army used to, used to, past tense, calculate the daily calorific intake required to ensure mass starvation didn't occur and only allowed that much food in, Danica. Now, so that's before all. we let you go, I just want to ask you, what that's are you all. what what's your message to your community ahead of planned rallies this weekend? We know that New South Wales police are very concerned about violence. What are you going to do to step in to make sure that violence doesn't occur and we don't see the scenes that we saw at the Opera House. What, what, what would you say? I'd urge my fellow Australians, be they Palestinians or supporter of Palestinians, to come along, show their solidarity, to mourn with us the loss of all life and to uh, protest in a manner that is consistent with something that all Australians should agree in, and that's the right to peaceful assembly. All right, we'll leave it there. Nasser Mashney, we really appreciate you coming on. Thank you.